Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. This is fourth lecture into the AWS series tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have successfully booted Windows 2016 on Amazon EC2 instance. But in this tutorial, we are going to again boot up that Windows 2016 and then we will install a Jamf server at that Windows. So let me first open a, uh, connect that server with the RDP okay so here is IP address of that server 35.165.192.173 just wait for a few seconds it will initialize remote connection and then it will connect with the but unfortunately it is not let me see why not yes because of that its IP address has been changed so if you want to fix this IP address you can provide a fixed IP address by using elastic IP address okay so here is elastic IP address it will fix this IP address okay so this IP address changes when you reboot your system at the server so I have rebooted this system at the server before this uh, tutorial that's why this IP address has been changed so for this we need to again click on connect then download a new remote desktop file and then open it don't ask me again to connect this computer and now it is asking about the password so for password we need to give a key pair pass for this password and that password is stored into the desktop and then read in youtube and youtube.pl then now decrypt this password here is the password copy this and paste this password here remember me fantastic now it will directly connect with your windows server which is running at AWS ok so windows server has booted up at Amazon web services server EC2 instance so copy this google chrome from here and then you can directly paste it into your server so internet speed is little bit slow at my end that's why it is uh, not uh, performing well install google chrome it will install very fast at the server end great perfect now let us first download the WAMP server no we are down going to download the jamp server download it for the windows perfect now here it is downloading 109 MB has been downloaded only in a few seconds the internet speed at Amazon web services is very fast just run it perfect so now important warning no problem click on ok and then next go to the net jump next next perfect and in the meantime let me show you how to configure windows firewall so search here firewall Windows firewall is advanced security so click on Windows firewall in advanced security on local computer then click on Windows firewall properties after that 
in domain profile in bound connection allow in private profile in bound connection allow and into the public profile in bound collections allow perfect click on ok now you can see here all ticks are green now everything is fine here you cancel it now your jump installation server is about to finish ok jump server has been installed successfully on your windows server which is running at uh, amazon web services server ok so i have started this server here you can see now apache mysql filezilla and uh, tomcat is not running ok so you can click on start it will start to run it is just about to start perfect now it is apache has been started at port number 80 and 443 and start mysql now mysql has been also started ok at the port number 3306 now if you open your browser and if you type here localhost see localhost dashboard jam papache maria d2 php and pearl has been open so let's see where this file is where is this file this file is under jamper directory and come to the htdocs and then you can see here there is index.php and if you open this index.php it would ask to try a program to open it let's open it into the notepad now it is telling if there is nothing then it would transform this into dashboard location okay so where is dashboard here into the dashboard then it is opening index.html this file so this file is this one okay so we have successfully installed our jamp server on windows and uh, in the next tutorial we will see how to host your website on this jam server and also we will see how to access your website from the internet ok thanks for watching this tutorial and subscribe this channel so that you can directly get updates in your inbox